or Shalom, giving all praises, honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is your brother Yerushalayim coming back at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. And this video is going to be entitled false prophets shall die all right and this video is related to this article here you see on screen from me Trinidad and Tobago Guardian all right today's edition all right it said it reads evangelist murdered after service for deceased father okay you know and this what you're seeing here is the judgment of the Lord all right the scripture said the Lord judgment goes out every day. Alright. Let's get that. Alright. The Lord brings forth judgment. Judgment. Alright, there's a lot of judgment coming. Alright. Alright, this is um Psalms 37 and 6. Let's get that. Psalm 37, verse 6, it says, And he shall bring forth thy righteous, thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. So this is judgment, what you're seeing here, the judgment of the Lord. The Lord is one who kills and the one who make alive. Alright? Let's go through one scripture with that. Because these wicked pastors, alright, they've been they they've been deceiving the flock. Alright? The flock of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Which means Yahweh, Yah means he. And Hawa means is or exists. He exists, he is, as the Heavenly Father's name, true name. And Yahweh Shai. Yah meaning he Hawa Shai, meaning deliverer or savior. He delivers, he saves. In the name of the only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, our King. Alright? These are true names. But this guy, that guy you saw there, you know, he's, he's preaching another name. Alright, we'll get into that shortly. This is 1 Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. Alright, so is the Lord. The Lord is the one who kills, right? You have plenty other scriptures. So you get Isaiah 45 and 7, uh, um, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Okay, all them say the same thing, precept upon precept. But this guy, you know, hey, these false pastors are serious. Judgment is coming for you. Well, let's take a read here. It reads, minutes after he preached about the importance of preparing for the second coming of Jesus. And, then, and, and this is the name they're using, which Jesus is a false name. And it's a false image. In fact, in fact, um, King Solomon prophesied about that in, 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 the, wisdom, in the wisdom of Solomon more than 2,000 years ago. All right, that that you know that they would have this false visage that would be set up, all right, and his false name, which which the word the word uh, uh, the word Jesus is a false name. J was in existence. It was in existence until uh, um, I believe it's around fifteen fifteen hundreds, and it wasn't used until after after um, the sixteen eleven, or I believe it was sixteen twenties twenties or somewhere there sixteen thirty four. You know, I believe it was first used. And I believe it was, it was it was first invented in 1524 somewhere around there, you know. You know I might be mistaken about the dates, but hey. But the point is, all right, it's a false name. J never existed, in the, it doesn't exist up to now in the Paleo Hebrew alphabet, all right. It's a it's a Renaissance letter, created by a guy by the name of Gian Giorgio Tresino, a Jesuit priest, all right. And it, and it, it, it was it's a transliteration of the name Jesus. All right, the name Jesus is a Greek translation of the Lord's name, which means Savior. All right, but the Lord's true name is Yahweh Shai. All right, as I said, Yah meaning He, Yahweh Shai meaning Deliverer. All right, that's the true name. So this this Jesus is really who? It's Caesar Borgia. All right, let me see if I can. You know the the, the hypocrisy of these of these false pastors. All right, you know it really gets at you. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Um, Caesarea 
Yeah, here we go. Yeah, see? Cesare Borgia was the son of Pope Alexander VI, which is Rodrigo Borgia, who, you know, when he died, right, he had, he had um, this guy, this, this big painter, not, um, what's his name? I'll get that shortly, hopefully. He had him paint an image of him. Alright? Look at this. It's the same man. Right? And this is what he delivered to people to, to bow down to. And one of our people, you know, you know, Jake on a whole, you know, is caught, is, cap is captivated by this image. This false image. Where, where the, our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, looks like a so called Negro man, a so called black man. Right? Where we can get that? Revelation 1 and 13. It says, it reads, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Who's the Son of Man? Yahweh Shai. The true Savior, the one who came before. But that, that, that so called Jesus, that Jesus, he never, he never came to save his people. He was an Edomite by name of Cesare Borgia. Alright, and he's not coming back. Alright, he's not coming back. So Revelation 1 and 13, in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, right? Clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Alright? And his feet like unto fine brass, which is a very dark brown color, right? As if they burnt in a furnace, well, even more dark. And his voice as a song of many waters, right? We're gonna get precept to that. A precept. Daniel 10. Start verse 5. It says, Then I lifted up my eyes and I looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of euphars. His body also was like the beryl, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, right? He had red eyes, you know, you know, eh? His eyes were red from, from drinking wine. And his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass. That's a deep dark color. And the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. So this is the true image of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Right? And you know the name is vitally important as the scripture says. You know uh, Proverbs 18 and 10. So that's the image and the name. Proverbs 18 and 10. But this guy, this guy you see here was pushing a false name and a false image. Because the vibration of that name, you know, give shows an image of an Edomite, a so-called white man. Alright? This is Proverbs 18 and verse 10. It says, The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and, as, and is safe. And this is why they took the name from us. You know, it's all about taking away Jake's defense. Alright? You know, the scripture says money is a defense, so Jake ain't got no money, Jake poor. The scripture says the name of the Lord is, is a strong tower, which is the ultimate defense, right? They take that away, all right? And they're always trying to take it away, all right? You can get that when you go into the, when you go into history. Actually, you go into the book of Maccabees. I believe it's first, it's the first Maccabees 3, 48. This is what these heathens always been trying to do. Take, take the image out of, out of the book, the image of the Lord being a so-called black man. An Israelite man and, and hide his name. This is first Maccabees 3 and 46. Wherefore the Israelites assembled themselves together and came to Masfa over against Jerusalem. For in Masfa was the place where they prayed aforetime in Israel. Then they fasted that day and put on sackcloth and cast ashes upon their heads and rent their clothes. This is what we do, you know, when we fast and pray. And laid open the book of the law wherein the heathen had sworn to paint the likeness of their images and these heathens did it again during the renaissance period that's where you get this image from all right because they, they had a campaign to go throughout the, the whole of europe after what the, the period of time they call the so-called dark ages where we ruled the whole of europe for more than a thousand years all right they set up this image okay which is when you go to Let's when you go to Wisdom of Solomon 14, start verse 12, it speaks about this. It says, For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication, and the invention of them the corruption of life. For neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. Yet yeah, these, these idols are dead. 
right? There's only one true power. His name is Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushai. For by the vain glory of men they entered into the world and therefore shall they come short to an end. And this image is going to come to an end. And all those who push this image, like this man here, they're going to come to an end. Alright? They're going to come to an end. It reads, For a father afflicted with untimely mourning, which is who? Pope, Pope Alexander VI, Rod a.k.a. Rodrigo Borgia. Alright? When he had made an image of his son soon taken away, which is Cesare Borgia, because he was killed at the, at the age, I believe, of 33. Alright? But this man was an evil man. He was a murderer. He killed his own brother, his older brother. He slept with his own sister. He was an incestuous man, you know. And he was a homosexual, right? He used to sleep with, um, I think it's Leonardo da Vinci. It's da Vinci. One of these big painters, all right? Okay. So this man was no good. Yet they set him up as our Lord. So must bow down to this wicked devil. And this is, what, this is what these devils do. They're all about hypocrisy. Okay? They're all about hypocrisy. So lucky. Let's bear with my moment here. Yes. Okay, so let's continue. Yeah. Yes. So, Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 15. For a father afflicted with untimely mourning when he had made an image of his son soon taken away now honored him as a god which was then a dead man and delivered to those that were on them ceremonies and sacrifices which is what the roman catholic mass and all these different pentecostal services thus in the process of time an ungodly custom grown strong yeah this 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 wicked devil you know worshiping this devil was kept as a law and craven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings okay whom men could not honor in presence because they dwelt far off. They took the counterfeit of his visage, the counterfeit of his image from far. This that that image of this so-called white man here. They took this counterfeit image from far. Right? Took it all across the world to, to the Americas and forced it on our northern kingdom, brothers, the so-called uh, 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 North, North American Indians and the Seminole Indians. Alright? They took the counterfeit of his visage from far and made an express image of a king whom they honored to the end that by this they are, by, by this their forwardness. But that's what they do with forward, they're very forward, wicked. They might flatter him that was absent as if he were present. Yeah, this says very Borgia devil. Also the singular diligence of the artificer, right, did help to set forward the ignorant to more superstition. So the, the artificer is talking about the artist, right? Who was um I believe um was it Da Vinci whatever his name was, you know I will get that put it in the comment section, in the um in the or I mean in the description box, all right. You know. He, he set up he set up this art this artist painter painted a a, a very good image he forced all his skill, all right. For he poor adventure willing to please one in authority, forced all his skill to make the semblance of the best fashion so he make it. Like how you see here. Alright. And the best fashion of him. Okay. Right. Verse 20. And so the multitude allured by the grace of the work how nice the image looked. Took him now for a God. Which was little before but was honored as a man. Okay. And this was the occasion to deceive the world. So the world is deceived. That's why that man, that guy who got, who got killed, you know, he he was deceiving his flock. And he maybe was deceived too. Right? But some of them know the truth too and they still push lies to get rich. Alright? They sell out for a purse. Alright? And this was an occasion to deceive the world for men serving either calamity or tyranny to describe unto stones and stocks the incommunicable name. Alright? And they change his name. Okay? This is the A. And this is what it is. So men like this, you know, this is a judgment on him. Let's continue reading. It says, Minutes after he preached about the importance of preparing for the second coming of Jesus, you know, which is Baal, you know, a point up here, evangelist was shot dead in front of his family on Monday. Right? You know? He was shot dead. 
A guy came up to him and killed him and realized the Heavenly Father was Lord is in control of all spirits. Their spirits created for vengeance. And the Lord right now is taking his vengeance on these people. Alright? Let me bring another scripture here. Um, it says Deuteronomy chapter 18. Fuck, let me get this here. Fuck, let me leave this. I'll read from my sword. This is um, Deuteronomy 18. And that 18 and verse 20 says, But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods. Right? He's speaking in the name of what? So-called Jesus Christ, right? Even that prophet shall die. Okay? And he and he he got put to death. Alright? Because these these are false prophets. Wisdom cried without you uttered a voice in the streets. You're not gonna find this truth going into those wacky tacky Christian churches. Alright? This is Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 11. Let me see. I pray not for this people for their good. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. And this is why the Lord is not going to hear their cry. Alright? Because they, they cry unto, unto Jesus. Alright? When they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offering and an oblation, I will not accept them. But I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Then said I, Ah, Lord, your, your our power, behold, the prophets say unto them, Ye shall not see the sword, neither shall ye have famine. But I will give you a short peace in this place. So the prophets lying, these men lying. Talk about the second coming of the Lord. And, and, and what, what, basically what they're saying, you know, they're second, the Lord coming with love and peace. No, the Lord coming with vengeance. Right? Isaiah 6, 6 and 15. Isaiah 6, 3 and 1 going down. Right? On down. He's coming with vengeance. He's coming because we, these, our people are sinning. They're doing wickedness. All right? And the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I send them not, neither have I commanded them, neither speak unto them. They prophesy unto a false vision and a divination. Yeah, witchcraft. And a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. All right? Therefore thus saith Yahweh concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I send them not. Yet they say sword and famine shall not be in this land. But that's what these pastors have been saying. Some of them listening to us now and starting to preach that they know it coming. But they're, they're, not, they're not truthful. Okay? Because they wouldn't tell you that you're Hebrews. Like, they wouldn't tell you that the name of, name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Alright? Okay? Jeremiah 14, verse 15. Therefore thus saith Yahweh concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name. Sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. So all these guys are going to be consumed by the, by the sword, which is the gun. And he got, he got his own by what? The sword, which is the gun. But this sword is the gun. All right? Shall these prophets be consumed? And the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is where is a people not before it's a place. It's where Jake live. Because of the famine and the sword, and they shall have none to bury them, their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters, for I will pour their wickedness upon them. And that's what the Lord said he's going to do and he's going to do it. Okay? The words say, Lord, don't go avoid. Okay? Don't play with him. Don't play with your Abashim, your Shai. You know? Because these, these prophets, you know, they, they profit off our people. Alright? You know, they, they are people of disease in their mind. They don't have this truth. They, they, they destroyed they have no leadership. They don't know who to turn. They turn into these guys for leadership. Alright? You know? And that's why the Lord is going to deal with them. Alright? This is um, Ezekiel 34 and verse 1. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh power unto the shepherds. What will be to the shepherds of Israel? That do feed themselves. Okay? Should, should not the shepherds feed the flock? Yeah, you're feeding them with you're not feeding them in when you're feeding them with the rubbish. Alright? To get them sick. That why they so disease, this rubbish with this devil, Jesus Christ. You eat the fat and you clothe you with the wool. You kill 
them that are fed, but ye feed not the flock. And the Lord tells Peter to what? Feed the flock three times. Feed them with what? The knowledge of the truth, who you are. You know, as a people, how we do to get right, how we repent to the Heavenly Father, the name money of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay? The true image of His, of his Son and the Father and the holy angels. Alright? They don't do that. Okay, verse 4. The disease have you not strengthened? Right? Neither have you healed them that were sick. And our people chiefly sick in their mind. You know, in his mind. They don't know who they are. They destroyed for what a lack of knowledge. Okay? And they're feeding them this misknowledge. Right? This false knowledge. Neither have you bound up that which was broken. Neither have you brought again that which was driven away. Neither have you sought that which was lost. But with force and with cruelty have you ruled them. And they were scattered because they were no shepherd. And they came and they became meat to all the beasts of the field that when they were scattered to the other nations. The other nations, you know, have us, have us like, like meat. They eaten us up. Alright? My sheep wandered through all the mountains and upon every high hill. Yea, my flock was scattered upon all the face of the earth. And none did seek or search after them. But now the true shepherds of Israel have come back. The men of the Lord. Right? The Lord sent men according to his own heart now. Alright? Uh, um... Let's get Ezekiel. Ezekiel. So let me see if I pull the scripture in Isaiah first. It's lucky. Let's bear with my moment here. 56. Yeah, and these, they, they, they don't know. They don't, they, they don't know how to teach people. They, they can't teach people. They don't know, you know. The dumb is like Isaiah 29. Talk about that, you know. This Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are they are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleep, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way. Everyone for his gain from his quarter. Alright. Come ye, say they. They say, so come ye, say they. I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink, and tomorrow shall be as this day, and much more abundant. But no, the Lord is bringing it to an end. The Lord is bringing it to an end. He's bringing judgment upon them. And this is only the first set of judgment. Now look at this man. He's supposed to be a man of the Lord. He have no beard on his face. Alright? Okay? His face is clean shaven. Okay? You don't follow the laws. The scriptures say, in, in uh, um, First John 3 and 4, you know, sin is transgression of the laws. They don't teach those things. This is why the Lord is, is taking them out. The Lord is determined to kill them. He's, he's going to take them out. All praise is to his name. I give him praise and honor for doing that. Just First John 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For, the, for sin is the transgression of the law. What law? law the so-called law of Moses. The law that the Lord gave unto Moses. That's the only Lord that the Lord have. Malachi 3 and, 3 and 16, the Lord, I'm the Lord, I ch Lord change it not. You know? I'm the Lord, I change it not. That's roughly paraphrasing. So the Lord don't change, His Lord's still in place. When we come into the, into the new covenant, in the, in the kingdom, what we're going to have? The same Lord is going to put now in what parts. Alright? So these, 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 I will call them, these, these bitches. Alright? This, this is what they be teaching. Lies and wrongdoing. This is 1 John 4 and 1. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the Heavenly Father. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the spirit of the Heavenly Father. Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is come in the flesh is of the Heavenly Father. Right? And every spirit that confesseth not that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh is not of the Heavenly Father. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. So this is what this is the kind of doctrine they preach. You know, that the Lord come through a spirit which is a lie. The Lord, the Lord had a father, a earthly fleshly father. His name was Joseph. You know? Whereof? Yeah. So, uh, um, read that over First John 4 and 3. And every spirit that confesseth not that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh is not of the heavenly father. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. So this guy was an Antichrist. There are many Antichrists. Whereof you have heard that it should come, and even now it is in the world. Alright? It's in the world. 
they haven't gone up as a script just say they haven't gone up and taught the flock they haven't gone up into the into the into the into the um the hope the, the gaps right and made up made up the hedge for israel in the time that's coming here now right but what the prophets are back here to do that okay let me read one more scripture this is ezekiel 13 and verse 4 it reads O Israel, like prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. Right? This guy is a false prophet, of course. You have not gone up into the gaps, neither have you made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord, which is coming soon. The day of the Lord will be darkness and not light. Alright? They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, Yahweh saith, and the Lord hath not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision? And have ye not spoken a lying definition like saying this Jesus coming back? When is really your Hawa Shai coming back? Right? A whole you know hey, no more, a lot of them gonna freak out when they see a so-called black man. Alright? Okay. Alright, lying definition. Whereas you say the your have said it, albeit albeit I have not spoken. Therefore thus saith Yahweh power, because you have spoken vanity and seen lies, therefore behold, I am against you, saith Yahweh power. And mine hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies. They shall not be in the assembly of my people, neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel. Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh power. Because, even because, they have seduced my people, saying, Peace, and there was no peace. And one built up a wall, and lo, others daubed it with untemper, mortared, or lies, the false doctrines that you teach, that you all, that you all pastors teach. You're all going to get a serious judgment from the Lord. And give praises and thanks for Yahweh Hashem, you shy for that. Alright? I may bring out one more scripture to compound that the Lord is not coming back for peace. Alright, Lord ain't coming back for no peace. You gotta come back with destruction. To destroy all you false pastors, all you false prophets, alright, all you women that preach on the pulpit. Alright? When you know you're not supposed to be up there. This is this is Isaiah 66 and 15. Alright? For behold, your hour will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So this is how we Lord coming with fire and vengeance. For by fire. And by a sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of Yahweh shall be many. And many of them in, in the so called plantation Christianity, wacky tacky Christian churches, gonna be slain by Yahweh Shai and the holy angels. Verse 17 They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens, which is the churches, behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh. This is what they promote, alright? Eating abominations. And the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, say the Lord. So all of you who are doing this wickedness, this is just one example. You're going to see more cases like this coming out. I pray this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Wa, Abad, Babal, destruction unto Babylon. Shalom.